Adobe. So here's world's first 128 layer 4D uh, NVMe SSD. Hi. Yeah. Hello, guys. My name is Jed Wolf. So uh, here we are introducing our NVMe SSD for our consumer market. It is based on our SK Hynix 128 layer 4D NAN. Uh, that's the for first uh, to launch the 4D 128 layer. What does it mean 4D NAN? 4D is means that um, a 3D array, a 3 standard 3D NAN, but with the addition of a periphery under cell. That's how we call it, the 4D NAN. 3D plus another dimension to it. That's what is the under cell? Periphery under cell. <laughs> it's like a secretary, a secretary that uh, for the NAND flash. Instead of uh, doing it on the side, we are doing it under the, the, uh, the 3D array. That's why we call it 4D NAND. 3D NAND is already amazing, right? Yes. 3D NAND is going to change the world, and it is changing the world. Mm -hmm. Yes, correct. And 4D is, it's going to be, everybody's going to adopt this, or is it yes. special? Yes, yes. SK Hining was the first to, uh, to have this uh, 4D NAND. Um, but then, um, yes, it, it is a periphery under cell. It's a common technology that I think eventually everyone in the industry will adopt to. So SK Hynix is, um, where, where is it from? Where's SK based? Hynix is based in Korea. And uh, been a market leader for this kind of stuff for a long time? Been doing SK memory Hynix. for how long? Forever? SK Hynix, we are a major DRAM and uh, NAND flash memory technology provider. We have our own fab in, in Korea. So, we, so it's from the core of the technology, the NAND component. That's why we adopted it into the SSD solution. Right. So we have been doing this for a long time. We are a major supplier to all the top companies, uh, top OEMs in the world, right? from the PC OEM to server data center. So now today what we are doing here is we are expanding our SSD portfolio to the consumer market. So how many terabytes do you manufacture per second? I mean, you do a lot of capacity. You do a lot of memory. How yes. does it work? It's big machines. Oh yeah, it, it, it's, it comes from the NAND, NAND fab, the capacity, right? And then all those will trans, uh, transform into a solution, whether a mobile solution, SSD solution. You do uh, fl uh, SD cards or? Uh, we do EMMC, uh, UFS, not SD card. We do SSD. So 128 later, mm. is that um, the first one to do 128? Yes, we announced that uh, mass production of the NAND component sometime mid last year. We were the first. Uh, but 128 in the world of memory sounds like not so much. Is it possible to do millions of layers? Or That's like a limit. Do lots more? Uh, How's it going to happen? It actually is a lot right, from where we come from, as you know, for the past few years. We have been growing from 32 layer to 64, 72 layer, then 96, then 128. So at the flash memory summit last year, we publicly announced it. I mean, it's, 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 uh, there's a potential for, to go up to like 500 layers or even beyond that. But then that's really many years down the road that we are, we are still not disclosing anything. Why is it so hard to add more layers? It is all about the fabrication process. You can think of like you're building a very tall building like to make it very high up, you really need to uh, improve your fabrication process. And to, the, the key thing is to make it reliable for mass production. Yeah. So how much data goes on this? This uh, platinum drive, we support up to two terabytes. So two terabytes. Yes, and the gold NVMe support up to one terabyte. Uh, so are we going to see like uh, 100 terabytes and how soon? Is how many layers do you need to get to like hundreds of terabytes? Uh, <laughs> 100 terabytes, yes, I mean, definitely can, uh, it, it will be coming, but then maybe in a little bit bigger form factor like this. But eventually it will come, but about when and how, I think that's, that's still too far to predict. Is there a, a time when uh, SSD becomes cheaper than hard drives? Or it's never going to happen? Also, it's hard to say. I mean, it's, I've been in the industry long enough that um, for a long time, People have been setting that goal, but there's still a gap like between SSD and HDD. So, um, but SSD, we are as a SSD vendor, we are continue to improve our cost, cost reduction year over year, generation over generation. I right? try to give the best value to the consumer. Uh, who provides the best uh, R and D in this space? Are there like universities everywhere? They contribute a whole bunch of tech, or is it all 
all invented in South Korea and that's it. I think it's a collaboration. I mean, Academia definitely play a big part in R&D research and the new technology. We collaborate with with uh, industry partners, with the university, with Academia. So it's all around. It's, it's a whole ecosystem. We work together. And uh, is uh, Samsung a competitor or they actually work with you on everything? Uh, sorry? Com Samsung. Samsung? Competitor? Oh, yes. Samsung has the same drive, so yeah, definitely competitor. On competitor. All right. Uh, so what is this? This is just a, a demo, right? We put our SSD into a gaming system and then running some a live benchmark. So you can see our platinum SSD is in there, embedded in there. So there's nothing better than platinum. You don't have like diamond line. Maybe in the future. Maybe. <laughs> but right now, no. Platinum is our high end. And the solid state gold. Right. So uh, the most excited people about this are like high end video editors or. Yes, gamers yes. or who? we are definitely targeting for yeah you you name it right gamers uh, video editing like those that require the high capacity high performance this is what uh, we, are, we are providing to our customers because the point is not just capacity is the performance yes is performance that the main also. point yes so you, you ha this is the fastest performance yes we optimize the performance we own our own um, all the end-to-end uh, -end technology the DRAM the NAND the controller firmware so um, that's how we provide you. Uh, how fast does it get? Um, you can see from the brochure here. Um, for the SSD, it's up to 3500 megabytes per second for read, 32 for write. That's very fast. Yes, yes. Definitely uh, one of the... And all this crazy fast speed is reliable forever? How long is it going to last? Oh, yes. I mean, when we design our drive, that's our spec and we will, we will... What's the warranty? Warranty is five years. Five years is pretty good. What's that? It's pretty long, yes. SSD. Mm -hmm. So uh, maybe in the early years there were some reliability issues, but that's been fixed? Uh, our, our drive is, we have shipped to many uh, B2B, like uh, OEM customer also, so we are very confident on our reliability. Five years, is there like a limited number of rights? Yes, yes. Five What's, years or the... How many rights? Um, like here, you see right here, 1500 terabyte, terabyte return, 1500. So if it's a one terabyte, that means 1500 times. Is it two terabyte, is it half as much? Or is it for the two terabyte? Right? Okay, this is for the two terabyte drives, yeah. All right. So oh, that's pretty much, because that's a lot. That, you know. Yeah, for consumer market, I think it's a lot. Yeah. But uh, hard drives have some, uh, many more rights on hard disk or no? Um, I'm not too sure how that <laughs> <Maybe. back. laughs> All right. Yeah. Cool. Thanks a lot.